I'm Alejandro Rengo, and I'm a photographer and filmmaker in Baltimore, Maryland. I shoot things that most people that I know considers reality. Some of the things that most people don't see every day. You know, I grew up in, an, as a kid, I grew up in similar environments where there's violence, there's anger, there's challenges, there's health disparities, but however, there is, they're uplifting, beautiful, strong, happy people. So I would like, I would like for people that's from the outside to get a view, to get a look through my eyes to see what I see every day in these communities. I covered the Freddie Gray protest to capture history. I went out there and I just followed the crowd. I didn't know where I was going, I just followed the crowd, followed what everybody was doing. It wasn't a mad uh, protest until people started seeing the police officers in riot gear. That was kind of, uh, of like, okay. You, you, all, you all suited up, you want to go to war? Well, you know, let's, let's go for it. You know, and that's how I felt like the people was feeling. Because everything wasn't rowdy, everything wasn't, you know, until they saw like the, the police officers in riot gear. I got hit with batons, you know, I, I got, you know, pushed around. I was there to witness a lot of things firsthand. And I captured a lot of the footage and still images. It's important to show people the images that I capture so that they'll just know that, to most people, what reality is to them. You know, um, not everybody has the luxury in living in a county or living in an expensive neighborhood into the city. You know, there's people out there selling things on the corner because of lack of jobs. Or most of the time you see kids on dirt bikes because they have nothing better to do in the, in the areas that they live in. I think street photography is needed in Baltimore. It, it just helps shows, show what's going on, helps shows what's what's still out there.